Hi folks, welcome to chapter 21. I want to talk about the manual oiler today on the Tormach PCNC mill. When I purchased my mill, I first thought that I had to buy the stand with the automatic oiler because I thought what I'm looking at here, which is the uh, manual pump, was the automatic version and that the manual version was some sort of a you know brush type system. I made I knew I wanted a what I think of as an automatic oiler where I could just pull a handle and have it automatically start oiling. Ends up that's what this is. The automatic version is a AC powered you know pump of some kind which automatically pumps oil every you know pre-described amounts of time when the machine's on. Nothing wrong with that, but I don't really see the value in the extra few hundred dollars. I'd rather have some more tooling. So, but what I want to talk about today is how the oil is distributed through the system, through these lines that you can see which run up the mill. And as you can see, I've got my manifold apart right there. Um, and I guess a common problem, which is that the X and Y jibs and the, uh, or ways and the lead screw and ball screws are okay. But sometimes the Z axis doesn't get much love because of gravity and the joint fittings. So I want to take a quick, a quick look at that and uh, investigate. So I've got the camera to the right side of the mill. Looking up, you can see the x-axis ball screw. What I want to show you is the amount of oil on the ways here, which is probably out of focus, but you can see um, you can see the probably the reflection in the camera, and you can see that when I put my finger on there, I'm getting a pretty good amount of oil. That to me passes the sniff test of hey, that's not metal on metal. That's getting uh, appropriate amounts of oil. Here I'm looking at the z-axis. I've got the uh, head open here as you can see the motor, spindle motor. Um, and these are not, I'll drive my finger off here. These are not bone dry, but I wasn't really happy with the amount of oil on there. It's not nearly as much as uh, the, ax, the x and y axis. And I've read on the CNC zone forum in the Yahoo group that some folks have had problems with these. In fact, that's one of the uh, oil uh, distributing valves right there. So what I wanted to do was take a look and see if there's a problem. This is this is one of those projects that you know frankly isn't too fun uh, or you know it's easy to put off I should say but it's important to do. It's a great piece of equipment. You shouldn't ever run it dry and I've been hobbling along for a little while by using a brush on the z-axis just to make sure uh, they're okay but you know it's almost impossible to get the brush near the z-axis ball screw and you know what it's, uh, it's time to take a look at this hopefully my video will help break down the intimidation and, and other folks can uh, take a look at their mills if they're uh, okay or if they need a little bit of work as well so there's a main manifold uh, which receives this line here and distributes to four different uh, z-axis points to, uh, to provide way oil the first step I did was to unplug this, uh, the valve that feeds the manifold, and then I pumped my, uh, pumped my, or pulled the uh, piston, and oil flowed out of here sufficiently well. I, I had no problems with that. So the next step is going to be to take a look at the four valves here and see if the if and how the oil flows through there. There could be debris in there. I think the orifices are quite orifices are small. And, uh, or it could be a kink in the pipe, just to see uh, if you're getting a good flow. Let me backtrack a second with two things. Uh, the first is that uh, one way you can measure how uh, problematic your oil, the way oil delivery system may be, is how quickly this piston, what, once you pull it out, how quickly it retracts back in. If it goes back in quickly, within a few seconds, it's almost certain that you have a leak somewhere in your in your line which means all the oil is going to be flowing out of that leak instead of getting retaining pressure and flowing through the rest of the system which is particularly problematic because obviously the z-axis has to fight gravity much more than the x and the y the other thing is that uh, what finally pushed me over the hurdle to start focusing on this rather than manually oiling a little bit to make sure I was okay was that I accidentally let that uh, reservoir run dry and I'm guessing that a little bit of air got into my pipes which is going to uh, I think obviously no oil is going to be flowing through and until you run enough oil through to, to get the air pockets out you're not going to be distributing uh, way oil through. So 
So my next step is to, I, or excuse me, I've uh, reassembled the main feed line right here, and what I'm now going to do is take off of the four um, uh, manifold uh, extensions. I'm going to take one off at a time, pull my valve, and see how much oil flows through. I'll waste a little bit of whey oil, whey, whey oil this way, um, but it's not expensive. You get plenty of it, and I think it's the most reliable way to understand what's going on. So I took out the three brass nozzles and blew 90 psi air through them, the direction the arrow points, and uh, one of them seemed to have something like kerosene in it, which meant maybe that was still uh, from the factory, um, and the air blew through okay. I then found a metric eight uh, socket head cap screw, which I think is a, it's not, I may not have the right thread pitch, but um, I was careful not to cross thread anything, but I put that in there to kind of close that one up. For some reason, that connection uh, doesn't have the, um, the same uh, valves that the other three does. And then I, I uh, charged the piston handle on the manual oiler and nothing came out of these three, but I'm getting some pressure and pop of fluid trying to make its way out of that one, which tells me that uh, something's wrong because those three should, I think, should have fluid coming out of them. So time to reach out to the folks at Tormach, uh, see what they say, and I'll be in touch. Thanks.